personally, uh, will certainly give like to give additional remarks. And uh, actually, he has some slides sending to me. Let me uh, share my screen first, and then Professor Lee can give a live response. Uh, are you tired of listening to me? No, no, can't talk. <laughs> okay. It's, so uh, can you see the screen? No, don't the yet. no, you are not supposed to show until I signal it. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Get rid of the slide. Okay. All right. Uh, so you want me to uh, make some more remarks, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. please, 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 please. Okay, the slide is still there. That, that, that's okay. Uh, uh, I'm trying to stop. Okay, is it okay? Yeah. Uh, can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Yeah, I can see you now. Yeah. All right. Uh, I would like to uh, thank Professor Lok and uh, Professor Long again for their kind words in the introduction. I especially appreciate Professor Long wishing me happy retirement in Chinese. I mentioned to my son that when I enrolled at Cornell in 1963, 1,000 feet dish in our Arecibo was nearing its completion. I saw a photo of Professor William Gordon with a dish in the background. In Professor Long's slides, there were several photos showing the destruction of the dish. What happened was that recently, two cables holding up the 900-ton receiver platform hanging at five, hanging at 400 50 feet above the ground broke, one in August and another in November, tearing the 1,000 foot refractor dish and rendering the structure unstable. On November 19, NSF, which is the major funding agency, announced that the antenna will be decommissioned. Then, just a few days ago, on December the 1st, the astronomical world learned with, with much sorrow that the antenna's glorious life had come to an end as the remaining support cables failed, causing the platform to fall into the dish and collapsing the entire structure. Instead of mourning its demise, let us celebrate its glorious life. The dish remained the largest antenna in the world until four years ago. Over 57 years, it has been responsible for groundbreaking discoveries in the field of radio and radar astronomy. These include discovering the first planets outside the solar system, ice on the poles of Mercury, and the evidence of the very first binary pulsar that led to a Nobel Prize in physics. The dish was featured in the movie Contact, First Light, please. First Light. Yeah, the dish was featured in the movie Contact with, with actress Jodie Foster, as shown in the photos in this slide. In declining to go to Arecibo to do my PhD research back in 1964, I missed many opportunities of becoming famous, including the chance of appearing in the movie. Second slide, please. Second slide. My opportunity to visit the Arecibo Observatory came in March 1990, when the EE department head annual meeting was held in San Juan, Puerto Rico. With Professor Stuart Long, we rented a car to visit the observatory. 
which was about 43 miles west of San Juan. The photos in this slide were taken during the visit. I was underneath the refractor in the one on the left and above the refractor in the one on the right. It was a pity that Professor Long and I did not take a photo together, but he kindly sent me some photos he took when he went up to the receiver platform. Several of them are shown in the slide that follows. Next slide, please. Next slide. Yeah, these are the photos that Professor Long took uh, when uh, he went up to the platform. Although the light of the uh, receiver 1,000 feet dish has ended, its contribution to antenna engineering, to astronomy, and to civilization will forever etch in the annals of human accomplishments. Now back to uh, Professor Rowe and Kenneth Tong. Thank you. Professor Rowe, I'm done. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm done. Yes, thank you, Professor Lee. Uh, Professor Rowe, you need to unmute yourself. Oh. Professor Rowe, you're mute. Professor Rowe, oh, Professor Rowe is mute. <laughs> So, uh, okay, okay. Is okay huh? yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry about the situation because uh, there are some construction where uh, near my office, so I, I just switch off the voice. Uh, 